Yeah. Yeah. You want to start off the Episode 18. All right, bet. Let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are now tuned in to episode 18 of the Children of the Trenches podcast with your host, Javion and Professor Cardinal. Anthony, the finesse. Oh, it's not, I'm not, I'm not the finesse. The finesse. <laughs> I want it because you were saying like the L and the the. I was thinking like shit. I need like El a little. Professor. Anthony Finesse Hess. That shit just roll off the tongue perfect. Don't call me the professor no more. El Professor. El Professor. Hey, so uh, before we started rolling, uh, we was having like a little conversation and we, uh, I found out something I didn't know. I thought Javion was 50% black. Let's go put my business out there. So we not? <laughs> no, we not I, was like, go, go, go. I thought Javion was 50% black, 50% white. Right, mm-hmm. and it turns out. Go ahead and tell the people what you is, motherfucker. Fuck ass <laughs> nigga. I don't even like you still. The fuck. Yeah. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm mixed with black, white, Mexican, and Polynesian. Mexican and Pol- that's that's that was a surprise to me. So that's where the whole El Mexicano, Mexicano way. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the and now it kind of makes sense because sometimes like um. When you fight, you kind of you got that Chicano spirit, fool. It really, like, fool? I kind of see it, like like, I, like that macho, like, you, like yeah, you're not gonna... and you, yeah, yeah. So I kind of see that. I kind of see that, and that uh, that pretty much raised the topic of like we started talking about. This is all off camera. We was talking probably for like thirty minutes before we started filming. For real, because Javion was thirty minutes late, like usual. What the fuck? I was nigga. I spent the night here. No, I was waiting on y'all niggas. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. All right. And we started talking about. Uh, I did though. Okay, bro. <laughs> what we talking about, bro? We talking about pretty much like the different races and shit. What we talking about? Go into it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Go ahead and dig into it, chat. Basically, we was talking about uh, you know, <laughs> just just how like <laughs> you threw me off, dog. You really threw me off in that one. Uh, basically, we were just talking about, you know, how uh, it's kind of like the race chick. It's kind of like non-existent. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is no such thing as a race, you yeah. know? That was just something that our uh, ancestors had uh, established back in the day. But really, if you think about it, there is no race. You know, it's only one race, and that's human. The human race, exactly. Because even when you think about it, even before, back in the day, so you know, before like the Earth, you know what Pangea is? Uh, I, one continent. Yeah. So yeah, the Pangea yeah. is the theory, or not even the theory, because really, like all our continents. I heard in the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all, 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 all the continents <laughs> of the Earth, like pretty much, they all fit like a puzzle. Yeah. You feel me? And Pangea was this uh, like before times where uh, pretty much everything was one continent, and then like through like you know the Earth did slide and the earthquakes and shit, mm-hmm. we eventually like spread it out and. Whatever the fuck. So when you really think about that theory, then you think, was we all once one one people? Mm-hmm. You feel me? At one point, and they also say that one day, pretty much through the earthquakes and shit, we all go eventually meet back. You heard that? That we all go eventually come back together if global warming don't take us out. But they say that we all go fucking, you know, meet back together and it's gonna be one race again. And like, is that like biblical? or something or is that like a scientific I think that's theory? scientific yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they just did like the like the math I guess and just the rate that the earth is moving or the way that like the earthquakes are shifting the earth that eventually fucking I think Australia will be right around the corner you want an Australian <laughs> shorty and hey, you want an Australian shorty like, let, me, I, let me hop on this flight real quick you feel me 30 minutes 40 minutes and you there and let me ask you this though the way things are ran today do you think there's always going to be that one group that always want that dominant power? Well, that's the thing, though. Like they, a government, basically. Yeah, yeah. It might, it might, it might be more so like factions. I don't think it'll be race, though, because they actually, they. I don't know how real it is. I don't know. You feel me? If you could trust every scientific theory and shit. Yeah. But they actually show. I'm saying yeah, if that were to be true. Yeah, yeah. They showed that everybody would be one color. Everybody would be one race, and. um... I think because just the human nature is greedy, bro. I think no matter what, it's always going to be somebody that want to be in control 
But instead of race, it might be something. It might be fucking wealth. It might be, you feel me, a wealth Territorial. Standard. It might be territory. territorial. It might be, sure. you feel me? But I don't think it would be more so like a race thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so much so much for it. You feel me? I think it would be more like kind of how you guys said, territorial and shit like that. Is So, why is that? You feel like land is power? Land is power. Land is power. Yeah, bro. Like so, like back in the days with like knights and shit. Like you know how you became like a knight or like a king. Mm-hmm. The more land you own, the more higher you were on the hierarchy. Yeah. Because when you think about it, and that's why I'm kind of interested in real estate. The only thing God isn't making, God isn't making any more land. Mm-hmm. Period, bro. The, he's not making no more land. The more land you own, I mean, you can rent it out. You can do the land leases. We had a couple of realtors on there, kind of explain different things. You feel me? But. I mean, ultimately, the more land you on, when you really think about it, the, like the better off you can be. You feel me? The the more generational wealth you can have. You mm-hmm. feel me? There's always a price on that land, and that land is always gonna be worth something. So, um, yeah, for sure, bro. I think uh, I think land is pretty much can determine power, for sure, as far as in that aspect goes. You know. Let me throw you off a little bit. Throw me off. What do you think about the whole like Elon Musk trying to go to Mars? Yeah. I think I think that's really gonna be just for the rich. Like I think that's gonna be on some all the rich probably gonna go to Mars and then the poor gonna be down here just and think about it. Mars don't really have I don't know if he's gonna create resources, but they as of right now, Mars don't have no resources that we could really that they, they could live off of. They gonna be getting their resources from here. And then what is the less wealthy gonna be left with? Do you but do y'all think that is really possible? possible? To live on Mars? To live on Mars. You would think that that's that's possible? That's scientifically possible? Bro, I think with enough money, you could do anything. Nah, I don't think... They, 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 they put robots and shit on Mars? Yeah, they put robots. That That's a fucking machine. Just like I mean, they put, yeah, the, but, just, so just like they put there, the, the rover. You know what we I'm saying? We can get there. How? If a robot just because you're rich there. don't mean you could defy the laws of science. So why do, why do you think you can't get to Mars? Well, shit. Uh... I don't know, bro, because just because it's, it's never happened before. So it's like, it's one of them things like, bro, I got to see it to believe it. Let me actually, you know let, me tell you, let me tell you this little story. So before, right, <laughs> um, I forget the track. I don't know the motherfuckers' names, right? But like the track stars and shit, right? Yeah. They mm-hmm. used to say you can never run a mile under four minutes. They used to say it was physically impossible to run a mile under four minutes. And then one day somebody ran a mile. And he, somebody did it. Mm-hmm. Somebody ran a mile under four minutes, right? After he did it. The next person did. The next person did, and so on and so forth. Now I'm pretty sure you can run a mile in four minutes. You feel me? If I'm, you don't think you can? If you in shape, but you don't think you knocking a mile out in four minutes? I've ran a mile in five minutes. I don't know about four. You ain't vegan, anyway. (laughs) You definitely can't run a mile mile in four minutes. Anyway, Gio. No, so pretty much how you said, like, oh, it just hasn't happened before. Just because it hasn't happened before doesn't mean it's not. I think we can get to Mars. I don't uh, get to Mars. That's not the problem. Can we live living on Mars? on Mars? Can we? We probably can. Why not? Why I don't, not? I don't. I don't know, bro. Cause like, shit, bro. I don't know. It's been a long time since I since I took a science class. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not big on science. I'm not big on that type of stuff either. But like, but I feel like if they so think about it like this. Let's say we get to Mars or whatever, right? If we get there, I mean, everything that they might need to live could be on a ship. You feel me? We're on Mars. Everything they, cause keep in mind they're gonna have to do construction and shit, right? For sure. So they're they not about to just be living on. They're gonna be probably living in the shit while they're working the construction. I probably should apply. <laughs> they need a Mars electrician. <laughs> electrician. Remember, remember. Hey. hey, they need a Mars electrician. Ever. They probably giving you bread. You know how much bread they give you to be an electrician on Mars? Nigga, what you gonna spend it on? <laughs> Mars pussy. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm, just I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Damn. Them, <laughs> them alien bitches, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, since, since we're on the topic, alien hey, bitches. Uh, I seen I seen like this little movie before, where it's like it's a like well, of course there's other universes and shit. Yeah. But uh, I was I forget what the movie was called, but basically there's a whole nother like twin universe, but it's like it's 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 kind of like the opposite. So Hello? basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so tall. Ba- <laughs> I like it. I like how I sound. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, like, you there's short? there's another. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we talk, yeah. Gio. That's our shit, Gio. We talk. <laughs> Take me there now. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so basically, like, there's another you out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, bro. I, 
sometimes I'll be feeling like that shit true. Like, you know how people say deja vu and mm-hmm. all that type shit. Like, you you have visions and shit. Yeah. What if them shits come from the other parallel the universe? Other, other parallel universe? I mean, it's pop. I mean, shit. Is it pop? I don't know. <laughs> but that, but you know what that tells me though? That tells me that if if other visions and shit came from parallel universe, that you guys will have to be linked in some type of way. Yeah. So is it linked spiritually? Like, you feel me? What's the linkage? What's I, the, what's I the feel link? spiritually for sure. Spiritually, spiritually for sure. Like, bro. Okay, I believe in God. Yeah. Um, I believe in heaven, but at the same time, it's like. Do we really know where we're gonna go after 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 this life? Nah, nobody really does. Nah, you I'm know not what I'm gonna saying? lie. I uh my mama had a friend who died and she said she saw like the light type shit. Oh, so she died and came back to life? She died and came back. And she said she saw like the light type shit. She saw the light. She saw the light. Now was she at the hospital and <laughs> that's the hospital that's the operating <laughs> light? Because they got pretty bright lights out. Bro, I don't know. She said she saw the light, dog. And uh, what is the light? That's the that's the that's the heaven that's gates the elevator. Like, <laughs> that's gonna bring you up. Nah, but um, you know what I really would like. I don't know if I believe it, but you know what I would like though. I would like to believe in reincarnation. I would like to believe that uh, you get another chance at this life. Not even another chance, but it's just like that. This thing it, bro. Like you feel me? You get one life and then that's it. Cause think about it. When you think about like uh like soulmates, for example, mm-hmm. I, I think you say you don't believe in soulmates, right? You don't either. Oh, but do I do? You said you don't. Bro, I knew I loved you when I met you. Some say this don't exist. <laughs> Emotions capture after that. You like, no, no, no. But look, this, cause this, I was about to say. So let's say soulmate. I, I do believe in so. I do believe in soulmates, right? Mm-hmm. I said that I don't think that you're always gonna end up with your soulmate. Okay. You, you might, you might have a soulmate, but you're not most likely. You probably not gonna. Your soulmate could be somebody in China. I think most people don't. <laughs> yeah, you not you it's don't. Like so many people up. get divor- divorced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, like, yeah. I was just ask, trying to say that. Bro. Gio, your soulmate could be in China right yeah. now. I'm missing out, huh? You I'm missing here out. Doing a podcast with you. Doing a podcast. Like, you need to be trying to get to China. Yeah. Stop playing. <laughs> nah, we need him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, Gio. See, I want you to find love. See, he, he's selfish. I want you to make sure you find love. Gio, bro. Gio. Gio I'll got a whole girl. Make sure she'll listen to I this. Mean, he, don't, he don't want us to be tall and find love. He don't want us to be tall and find fight. love in a parallel universe. <laughs> what does is, what is being tall got to do with any of this? She might like tall guys. Gio's not tall, though. What a... <laughs> hey, but no, no, no. I say that to say, like, uh, as far as reincarnation goes, right? Let's say you have a soulmate or a soulmate theory or whatever the fuck, right? Uh-huh. I think that what if like, every time you get reincarnated, right, your soul go to another body, another boom, boom, boom. You got that same soulmate over time, every like throughout life. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like uh, in this life, you feel me? You got a soulmate, boom, y'all die, boom. And then the next life, if y'all find each other, y'all find each other. If y'all don't, y'all don't. But that don't mean that that's not meant. You feel me? And also, do you do you think, or you don't even believe do you think that you have one soulmate? I think you could have probably multiple soulmates. I was just about to ask you that. I think you could have multiple soulmates. There's so many people people in the world. Hey, now, yeah. now let me ask you this. What? Does a soulmate have to be... Romantic? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think now, so. Now, if, now, if we're talking about, you know, any other relation yeah. as far as being soulmates, yeah. honestly, I feel like my son is my soulmate. Aww. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Hey, hey. Hey, you, did you play something? Oh, hey, play something when we edit that. <laughs> <laughs> some claps. You play some. You say something. Nah, but like, do you, do you feel me? Like, it's like, it's like, even though he's so young, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like we just so yeah, connected. Yeah, we, we, we just click. Like, we just so connected. That's your, that's you your seed. Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and that could be just because he's my blood. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um... And like, no, nah, I, I, that goes the same for like my family, like my sister, my brother, Ashton, my my nephews, my yeah. niece. You know what I'm saying? That goes that goes for all of them. Yeah, we got something. We found something. Yeah, we found something. <laughs> just something like, yeah, but now, nah, like you know, it's just like you can feel that spiritual connection. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like it's like the thought of you know the ap- afterlife. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And not being with like I feel like. Like, I think uh, this. I think it's in the Bible. Um, you know, once you once you pass on, it's like you you don't you don't recognize your family family member for, as, for yeah, as, yeah, yeah. as as a family member. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just recognize them as another soul. Yeah. You know, and uh, I I don't know. It's it's hard for me to kind of like 
agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I, because the love you feel right now is like too strong. It's too strong. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, it, like, all right, put put it for like this, for instance. Uh, rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Gigi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that them dying together was an accident? I mean, shit. I have to say no. I mean, I think we all have our time, so I'll say no. I mean, it's written. It was written. Yeah, I feel like it was written. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like their afterlife, they're they're together. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They, I I, I don't know. I, I don't want to say nothing that's offensive to nobody or nothing, yeah. but like I feel like, you know, that they're spending their souls are connected. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And internally. Like, internally. Yeah. And let so. me ask you this: Have you ever like? Have you ever? I think I'm think I'm starting to believe in reincarnation right now. I'm low key starting look, to believe look, in look, it. Low key. Have you ever met somebody, bro? And it was like, yo, I met you before. Like, there's no way yeah. we, we this cool, yeah. and I yeah. just met yeah. you all the you, time. You feel me? Like yeah. I just met you, and we laugh and we act like yeah, I feel yeah. like I've known you for forever. Exactly. Like, nah, you nah, met nah, that I, person I, before. You had to. Have. Yeah, I can't say the same about Hess, but nah, no, no, okay. most <laughs> definitely I had to grow. To, I had to grow to start talking to him. No, no, facts. Like I can't. I did not talk to him. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think you know, I slapped him the first time I saw him. It, I think I slapped the shit out of his ass. Cap, Cap, because I've been calling out his face since we met. And uh, it took him some months for us to fight. But anyway. <laughs> what if we, what if we, the that, opposite of soulmates? What if what we, like, like eternal what if we enemies? Was foes, yeah. And I fuck with that. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense, makes a lot of sense, sense now. Of sense. Nah, we are eternal nah, enemies. I really don't like you. We're, 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 we were born to hate each other yeah. through life. Yeah. I feel, I feel like, no, 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 no. Like, shit, why you bullshitting? I feel like, like, there's, there's two, there, like, there's. I feel like throughout the years, I've been whooping your ass throughout <laughs> eternity. No. You probably won twice out of, <laughs> out of all of eternity. You probably won. In my twice. book, you From never won. Caveman times. Caveman. Times. To like the nights, and you feel me? I feel like. And even when we was I monkeys, bro, you ass. would never. Hey, now, do y'all think we evolved from monkeys? No, I told you that. You about to make me say this again. No, we did not. <laughs> when did I ever say, make you say that? Episode with, with, the, with the Trevor episode, I said we was going to edit it out. We did edit it out. Or uh, we didn't edit it out, Gio? Gio. Gio, we didn't edit it out. You know what I'm talking about? I, I muted um, <laughs> some of the words, but y'all kept saying it so much. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm talking y'all about? Y'all kept though? repeating it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It, no, no, no. It's scientific. It's scientifically proven. People are going to go back and listen. Is it really? Carefully. When I become a champion carefully. type yeah, shit. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. When I become a champion, they're going to go back. We, nah, I don't we think might it, just delete that it, whole episode. It wasn't bad. Uh, no? It, I it's love science. Said some, yeah. A lot of people are sensitive to it, but. But honestly, if you Google it, bro, it really said that. Caucasian people. Here we go. go. Beep. 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 <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but when you think about it too, like okay. all right, so when uh, you think uh, about, wait, nah, 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 crazy. Go, go, go. Oh, we could we could chop this all up. Hold on, time uh, out. But oh, we could chop it out. Yeah, we, okay. if you say okay. if you say some. We was talking about how we was literally the podcast literally happened really before we started. Before, before we started, yeah. if we being honest, yeah. But uh, we was talking about life insurance and how you know. Life insurance could be a key factor in building gen- generational wealth. And I think life insurance is just a necessity, like, overall. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, I mean, at any given moment, the average, first of all, the average wealth of the average black family, I think, is like, or the average net worth of the average black family is like 17000 That's, of course, that, not a lot yeah. at all, right? And then let's say something happens and suddenly somebody dies or something like that. You feel me? And then you got to cough up. Six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand for you know a funeral. You feel me? And the problem is, I don't. I think that more so, a lot of people don't have life insurance because I just think it's like it just more so like people really just don't know exactly how important it is, or I don't know, bro. I just think people don't really think about you know the necessity of it. You got you know she got life insurance. Life insurance. I don't think I do. You don't think you do? I don't think. No. Nah. Honestly, to be honest with you, I don't even know what shit, what what are some life insurance companies. Aflac is one. No bullshit. <laughs> oh, I, now that you say that, I'm thinking of a duck and shit. Yeah, yeah Aflac is a duck. Aflac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but honestly, though, just think about it like this. Life is short, but we all know this. Anything can happen, right? Mm-hmm. You don't think it would be a good idea to get a life insurance policy on yourself? So let's say if anything happens to you 
as of right now, your son, son could, yeah. you feel me? Like, let's say if you have a life insurance policy, and you can you can set up different terms to where it's like, okay, when he turns 18, you release these funds. Mm-hmm. Or this is going to pay for his college. You got know what I'm trying to say? Like, you can set little different shit up in that way. Because, of course, it's like, what is a, 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 a three-year-old? No, he's a, he, he'll be two in April. Oh, shit. Okay. He's yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is a, a two-year-old? Of course, like, I'm not saying you go, God forbid, you, something happens to you or now. Mm-hmm. But, like, what does a young kid go do with, you know, a substantial amount of money? You feel me? You could set it up to where, oh, he release yourself when he's 18, but at the same time, it's going to give him a good jump start on life in general. Mm-hmm. You just imagine when we turned 18, you feel me? We didn't have a, a, a trust fund full of money that, yeah. just, you feel me? And uh, Honestly, I don't know. none of this was ever, t- like, the life life insurance, that like, that policy was never taught to me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, you know... You got to get get it out the mud. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and that's the, I think that's really the problem with our culture is mm-hmm. that we automatically assume like, okay, we got to. I don't think there's nothing wrong with setting your your children up for success. Mm-hmm. You know? Like getting out the mud mentality, like that does that. A lot of I feel like a lot of people in our culture, like our parents, really failed us. Mm-hmm. And, and like just being completely honest, you know, I have I have a buddy of mine or a fucking real close, like my best friend. Uh, his family's doing pretty good and it shows because his dad pretty much sets them up for mm-hmm. like he has a daughter and pretty much like if anything ever his daughter's damn near a millionaire already just because the way her grandfather pretty much set up like different trust funds and they own like a business so if anything happens to the business she inherited type shit you feel me mm-hmm. like Life insurance, all type of little different stuff. You feel me? So like the daughter is already well off. You yeah. Feel me? And I feel like that's how it should be. Mm-hmm. You feel me? When we're planning the future for our kids. You feel mm-hmm. me? Because people are having kids left and right, and it's just repeating the cycle. Yeah. Like the same struggles you went through, your kids go go through. Mm-hmm. And I feel like as as men, it's our job to provide and whether vice we're versa. alive or not. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And like. like like you said, like the shit, the same struggles you you went through, your your kid go through. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, vice versa, the same struggles you go you went through, your your parents your parents probably went through. So you, you think you're saying? interested in buying life insurance? Huh? You think you'd be interested in buying for for sure? Like I yeah. I've always wanted to set up a, a a trust fund for my for my son. You know what I'm saying? And I've always wanted to make sure, like, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? No yeah. matter what, I can't I can't control. What's gonna happen to me next? You know, yeah. God forbid. You know, um, all I can do is control what if I if I am gone or regardless of what happens to me, yeah. he's gonna be straight. You know, Everything. and that's that like that's all that that I really care about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is making sure that he gonna be straight in the future. You yeah. know, because I I made a promise to to God to myself. Shit, to even even him when he was born, like I I would always tell him, like, I like I like he of course he didn't understand what I'm saying, yeah. but like I would I would just say like I, I got you, I got you, I got you, you gonna be good. <laughs> but nah, like you know what I'm saying, like it was just it was like 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 some shit you see on the movie type shit, but nah, like for like. Them emotions is real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So they say uh, a mother becomes a mother when she first realizes she's pregnant, and a, a, da- a, a guy becomes a father when he actually sees the child. You ever thought about that? That's you, ever, you ever had a pregnancy scare? I don't think so, man. Oh. I'm very responsible. Young I can tell. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. No, no, no. But uh, that's but, a fact. So like when you saw him, that's when that's, that's when, that's when everything fit. felt real. But like nothing when, felt when, he, like, when, she, when she was pregnant. When she was, was pregnant, bro, like, I, I I I still didn't believe it. Yeah. It, it still wasn't true to me. I'm when like, bro, I'm not about like, to be a father. Like, <laughs> like, like you know what I'm saying? But once Damn, I this nigga <laughs> hey, so when you saw, what was the first thing you thought? Because I'm not, I don't have no kids, so I I could I would never feel what you feel until it's my time. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You can't you can't describe to me. Well, I guess you can't. I'm about to say like, how did you feel? But honestly, like the best way to put it. I was just like, wow, like I did this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, I did this shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, shit. like, like it was kind of like I was in disbelief. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's like, like this is actual. This is a real your creation. Yeah, this is you my creation. This. I mean, of course, God created it, but 
you know, he you made he, this. he he put it through me to you know what I'm saying. So you put it, yeah, yeah <laughs> you feel me? So it's like damn, like I was like like it, it's weird, bro, because it's like it feel like you are the chosen one type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, like it, it like. The day he was born, bro, I just kept asking myself or a- asking God, like, what is the purpose of this? Like, wh- what do you see in me? Mm-hmm. Why do you Why do you feel like I can handle this responsibility? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it it wasn't like a why me, God, why me? No, no, no. It was just like you know I was just trying to understand, so I knew how to approach it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the best way I could put it is just honestly, bro, like. I always knew what I wanted as a kid from a father. Mm-hmm. Like, I just didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? So you go give it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like the pur- purpose of that was to God, for God to show me. Kind of like, it's like, it's it's, it, it's weird in a sense, but it's like, I'm li- I'm kind of living like, like I'm kind of experiencing what having a father is like by being, being a, father. a father. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's weird. It's you know what deep. I'm saying? Yeah, it's deep, but it's like it's that's really how it is. You... <laughs> no, nah, but like that's really that's really how it is. Like I'm spirit, I'm experiencing what a father is like by being a father. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So honestly, that was the conclusion I kind of came up with, and uh, you know, I mean, it's it's many other reasons. You know, what I'm saying. You bring you bring a life you bring a life onto this earth. You know it's a beautiful thing, mm-hmm. but you gotta you gotta be ready to to know you know mm-hmm. what what you're gonna do next. You know what I'm saying? Because now everything I ha- I do has to be calculated. Mm-hmm. It has to be calculated. You know what I'm saying? Just on, for his best interest. In, interest. Mm-hmm. So now, before you had a kid or no, knew you were gonna have one, uh, did you feel like prepared in that sense? Like when I have a kid. Um, I know what I'm gonna teach him. I know how I want him to grow up. That type of thing. Or were you just too young Men- to even mentally? Yeah, I was prepared. Yeah. Financially and everything else going on yeah. in my life, no, I wasn't prepared. You but you, you but you were like, yeah, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to be a father like my father was or like his. father Oh yeah, was. no, no, I knew that. I knew that from a very young age. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I would always like. Like me and me, me and my my friends, you know, what I'm saying we'll we'll talk about it and say we we'll be like, you know, like uh, my kids, my kids gonna have this, my kids gonna have yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? But like that was just all under the consciousness of that we were gonna be present in the, our kids' lives, you know what I'm saying? We were gonna be fathers to our parents. I mean, t- <laughs> t- <laughs> he, was, he was doing good. <laughs> my nigga was doing good. <laughs> Hey, you see, I'm over here like, hey, I'm never quiet. <laughs> I'm over here like, I ain't never talked this much. Y'all, y'all know me. And this your shit because we don't got kids. This your podcast. <laughs> We're trying to learn some shit. But nah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Fathers, father, being fathers to our kids. And um, <laughs> it always, it, it always got to be has to fuck some shit though. <laughs> no no he can never he can never let me let me correct my mistake i like i knew i I fucked up as soon as i said it like (laughs) (laughs) but nah um you know i was just i just always you know understood that my situation wasn't the best of situations Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i always understood that i wasn't gonna let that be my kid situation you know what i'm saying like it like everything everything that I uh everything that I learned growing up the good and the bad mm-hmm. I would it's crazy at a young age I would I would think of ways to kind of pass that on to my kids. Mm-hmm. Be a, being able to teach that to my kids, like okay, boom, how for example, how would uh how would I be able to use my how I grew up without basically me not having a father. How would I be able to kind of t- teach that to my kid? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Tell him like, okay, turn a negative into a positive. Yeah, turning a negative into a positive. You know what I'm saying? And like those those are things that would pop up in my head at a young age, even before I knew I was having a kid. You know, and uh, I don't know. I guess I guess I guess you could say like that it was man it was manifested. You know, and so like. 
once once uh once it happened, you know, mentally I was ready. I just had to I just had to to uh catch up financially in a sense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause financial ain't everything when it comes to raising 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 children. But is it expensive? Shit costs. Yes, shit, shit costs. Man. Hell yeah, shit costs. I think sure. that's my problem. My problem is I'm thinking I want to be ready financially before I have a kid. But no, I don't yeah. think you're never gonna be really. Bro, I don't. I don't blessed. see. No, I don't see nothing wrong with that though. I don't see nothing wrong with somebody want to be fi- financially ready. You know what I'm saying? Because Bro, are you ever gonna be like really? You feel me? Uh, you can uh, okay, like I'm if you ready. rich, yeah. If you rich, yeah. But uh, no, you you definitely can. Yeah, um, you. My uh, I'll use my sister as an example. She recently had a kid like six months ago, okay. and she has a PhD, and her husband has a PhD, and they've traveled the world, and they're they're pretty well off. Mm-hmm. So by the time like that kid is, he's good. He's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and, I mean, they're in their thirties, and then they're thirty four, thirty three. Yeah, and that's. That's what I think too. I think like nowadays because of social media, you see a lot of people our age group that's rich and getting to it, blah, blah, blah. But that's still not the norm. I feel like a lot of people still won't really hit their stride or still won't hit their like pinnacle of success until they're well off in their 30s. I mean, like we could have, you know. Or even in their 40s. Right. How many young successful people do you really know? Bro. Not too many. Like all the people who run the world and, and, own companies and shit like that. Mm-hmm. They're all old motherfuckers. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we might 50. have a so, social media is changing the narrative for yeah. sure. It, it is. Like you're supposed to be like young and getting mm-hmm. in yeah. shit. Yeah, but like eventually, eventually that's going to be the norm. You think it'll be norm? I think it's going to be the norm. What young is? What rich. is? I think I mixed it. Young and this. rich. Oh, okay. I feel like that's going to be the norm. Like it's it like you know like. <laughs> Shit, I've always wanted to be young. Like I still, I still want to be young and rich. Of you know course. what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's. Uh, I don't see nothing wrong with it. And uh, they go back, going back to what uh, what has said ass is, is being a, uh, being being concerned about your financial state, 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 being concerned about your financial state for your for your child. Is that like is is that does that matter? Honestly, I I feel like it does, but at the same time. When I found out, I, when I found out I was having a kid, bro, I was broke. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was broke. And How scared were you? Huh? How scared were you? I, bro, I was scared. I was scared. Like, no, it's a it's, huge responsibility. It's a huge responsibility, like, literally, bro. Now, it's, nah. a yeah. human now depends on you. Exactly. Like, that's, life depends. I think that's the highest responsibility. No, for sure, for sure. And uh, there's no higher. And uh, like, like, yeah, because you're 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 responsible for a whole life. You know. And it's like, if you don't feed him, <laughs> how you, how you post like okay, of course when he's first born, you know he's breastfed and, and all all of that. But uh, as he gets older, it's like it's things things are gonna start adding up. You mm-hmm. know, you got to worry about food, you got to worry about diapers, you got to worry about you know a place to sleep, all of that. You know, clothes on his clothes on on his back. So it's like all of that shit was going through my head, and I'm just like, bro. Well, shit, we here now. Ain't no turning back. I got to, I got to step up to the plate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I can see. It, you can. It's it's only two ways you can go from that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can uh, step up to the plate and make it happen, or you could be like, "Fuck that, skedaddle, skedaddle." And I under, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Well, I don't understand it, but I see. You know what I'm saying? Why like, people dip? Why people dip? You know. Along with many other factors, you know, I can I can go go into that, but you know, uh, that's another topic for another day. Yeah. But um, you know, I chose to I chose to stick with it, you know, and tough it out. And uh, shit, I say I I don't I'm I don't want I'm not where I'm at, where I, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm in a pre- I'm in a pretty good position, you know. I'm on I'm on the verge of, you know, make making it making it uh into into a reality. But and I go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> but not nah, like my man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like I, I got I, you, JV, and I got you. <laughs> turn this, turn this shit off. Man. Turn this shit off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say and something. I, at at yeah, this they can't point, hear you. <laughs> yeah. But at this point, it's like my biggest concern. My, my only thing that really matters to me is my son's happiness. Yeah. You know, 
And like, especially at this age, like they don't care. They not materialistic things. That shit is taught. Yeah, yeah that shit is taught. It's like, why are you like, buying your two year old kids J's? Like, exactly. He don't even know what that exactly. is. He's gonna like, shit on those shoes. He's gonna spit on those shoes. Exactly. <laughs> like last week, I took my son to nine nine cent store. I swear, I swear to you, not. I bought him this. He 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 picked it off the shelf. Thing was only like sixty cent. It was like a little mini motorcycle. He ain't happy as hell. Happy. <laughs> he hasn't put that thing down since. You know what I'm saying? He just keep playing with it, making motorcycle sounds. But it's like, you know, he gonna be a NASCAR driver. He gonna, oh, he <laughs> love cars, bro. Is my mic still off? <laughs> nah, nah, I can't. <laughs> nah, you good? He's a NASCAR <laughs> driver. No, for real. Nah, for real, for real. Like it, it like set like, him up. Like, like uh, I've seen like a lot of kids. You know. Uh, they're interested in cars and stuff like that, but I've never He's seen. Different. He has an obsession with cars. Like, hey, how, it's, how old do they gotta be to drive those little uh, toy cars? Which ones? The toy ones. <laughs> you talking about the little the electric? Car? Yeah, how old they gotta be? He already, he already got one. He be driving it. Yeah, he be driving. Ooh. He be driving. He be whipping. He be whipping. <laughs> the first day, first day we got it, we got it for him on Christmas. Nigga cried. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tears no, no. of joy. <laughs> well, well, I had to. St- I, had, I literally had to. Like we was on the sidewalk, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know his car. Cars parked 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 against the sidewalk. He was really like swerving. Yeah, yeah. He was like swerving and gets <laughs> against the cars. Like I'm like I had to stand in front of him and kept pushing the car. Like no, don't no, keep it straight. Turn, yeah. turn. But you know, it, it was it was fun. You know, it was funny. Uh, I got I got videos and shit of it. But it's crazy that he still won and he's already starting to pick up the models of the car. Yeah. Like on literally, bro. On Friday. He comes up to he comes up to me and asks him, and he was like Charger. He goes he 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 comes up to, he goes ask him. He says Charger, Charger, that that keys, random keys, keys. <laughs> yeah. random. Hey, how do you? Well, how do you like? How does NASCAR recruit? Like, how do you get somebody in a NASCAR? I don't. I honestly don't know. We but I'm about to, to start. Look, I'm about to start researching that. He bro. gonna be it, bro. He gonna be. He gonna be, bro. I'm gonna start like, researching. If you're that black too. in NASCAR, you're automatically famous. Yeah, it's like being black in hockey. Yeah. That's a fact. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. You're like, I really about to get a Pepsi deal. I really, I really like. I've, I've been thinking about that. Like, if he, if, like, if he, you know, of course, as he gets older, you know, he's gonna find other things that that, that spark his interest. But, like, if I can kind of like just guide this and see, like, if he really, if if this is what he really likes, you know, what I'm saying, shit, I'm gonna educate myself as much as I can with cars, and uh, let's buy pass a car team. Yeah. I think that's how you do it, right? You gotta have like a team, something like something, something like that. Yeah. I'm a bro. After this, we could we could really dig into that for real, because I like no, no. It's definitely an investment. You I might mean, as well even if yourself. yeah, 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 yeah. Even if he don't do it, shit, that's still a good investment. You know, what I'm, look, I'm gonna get my son to be in the horses. And we can get like a <laughs> jockey. He could be a jockey. <laughs> that's hey, no, you know, no, take cool. over. My my grandfather was a jockey. Yeah, mm. no, he wasn't. I swear. But you know, you gotta be short to be a jockey. He was short. This has been episode 18. <laughs> You're no, lying. No, no, I, I swear. Your mama saw it? Okay, well, you know my situation. Well, well, not, he's not. I call him my grandpa, you know, because, you know, that that's that's all oh, I know. So Ivan dad? Ivan no, no, grandpa? Keanu's, Keanu's dad's dad. Oh, it was a jockey? Yeah, Keanu's grandpa. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I believe yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so Keanu's grandfather was a jockey. That's you know? dope. I actually went to their horse races before. They be making bread off the horses. I, I want to go. I never been. What's name? I had somebody. Um, we can go. I'm ready. I, the, the, so the dude who took me, uh, a friend of mine, he took me down to the horses. He was messing with um one of the trainer's daughters, <laughs> and took us backstage and shit. And they was pretty much saying like, we can go half on the horse to the where like we will put the money down and they would train it and like. Take care of it and stuff. And of course, when the horse wins, we get paid. When you lose, you lose money too, though, right? No. That's only if you bet. Oh, okay. So, but so if but you... it's like, I mean, I guess you lose money as far as care. I, you spent this money to feed it and stuff, and he not bringing money in. You get me? Yeah, yeah. So you you got to so get reimbursed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, shit. I don't know, bro, bro. That's Maybe a gamble with the, 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 the largest, what's the name? Like the largest Kentucky Derby, whatever the fuck. I think it's like a race in Dubai. But like the, the, the cash out when you win is like millions. I'm already knowing. Millions. Them horses be getting bread, bro. 
And of course, you pay the jockey. So that's the thing. If you don't win, the jockey don't get paid either. You pay the jockey. Yeah. Yeah. You pay, you feel me? Hey, but we can do NASCAR and horses, bro. Let's take over, like, let's take over the A-sports. <laughs> we take over our sport. Let's take over the A-sports. Yeah, I'm with that. That's I'm dope, with though. That. We can do that. We can Love do that. What you trying to do? NASCAR team? Two little trenches, NASCAR racing. That's hard. And jockey. <laughs> And we're gonna have we're gonna have a children trenches logo. We gotta get a logo. Children Trenches logo on the That's car. That's a fact. That's a against big the ropes, fact. you want some? It's, it's, give me some action, dog. Yeah. To our fans out there, leave below in the comments if you would rock our logo. Oh, they will. Oh, they will. Will y'all really though? Oh, they will. <sighs> we should do we should do like a little challenge. That's yeah. dope though, bro. I'm, I'm excited now. I wanna uh I wanna I want a NASCAR yeah. team. Yeah, me too. I want to go to like the NASCAR meetings and shit. They're going to hate me because I'm you know going to have my do-rack on. They're going to be mad. Yeah, that's... You know, I never thought of that. Like, they don't have... Like, that's how a, would you, I think that's like a... You feel me? Like, what's... What's, what's kind of like the amateur division for a NASCAR. NASCAR? Like, like how do you... It's probably some shit like in the country where it's like... They... they, they it's like hay barrels or some shit. I don't know. I really want to look into that. Like, I'll probably start them off with like... Driving go karts and shit, you know what I'm saying, and like just Let's set it up. But <laughs> you know it's crazy. He know how to start a car and everything. You know how to start. Damn. You tell me he started what's Yeah, car? yeah. He started Ashton car. Shit. He started. He started Ashton car. He like he's he he understands like the concept. You yeah. know what I'm what's saying. His name? Did you ever have him watch Ricky Bobby? Time of day or night? <laughs> no. The legend Ricky Bobby. No. Nah. He probably should. You know. If you're not first or last. <laughs> You know it's crazy though. He don't he don't really sit and watch TV. Huh? Because he's too moving. He he, he a busybody. Yeah. He a busybody. But you know, I, I don't I don't have no complaints with it because that just tells me like he's not going to be a part of that group of this generation that's just going to be, you know, this of course. Is different though. Yeah, yeah. The, all they do is sit and play on their games. You know what I'm saying? And. I'm not knocking it because shit. I play. I I used to play video games. Like I don't really play it no more. Mm. But uh, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I do want him to be tech savvy because that is the future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, like shit, he a kid. Let let him let him be a kid. Let him go out like like get go get dirty. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Go get go get a few bumps, scratches. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like do, yeah, down. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throw them in the mud and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, for real, like like that shit. Like just go be go be adventurous. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. be a kid. That's all. That's all it is. Is that how you guys were as children, man? Oh, this is the was. children of the trenches. Yeah, nah, bro. I was never inside. Like I was always outside. Drinking, drinking water from 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 uh from water holes and shit like that was your Gatorade. You see that, that was mean? yeah 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 that was my Gatorade and shit, bro. Like it was just like the ghetto raid. The, <laughs> the ghetto raid. Nah, for real though. Like shit, bro. I used to, I used to just be outside, just running the streets, dude. Bad, bad, for no reason. Bad. Chilling at the child in the trenches. I used to be chilling, dog. I was chilling. Don't let me, don't let me have a bite. He like he doing now, just chilling. Don't, hey, my mongoose used to take me everywhere. You got, you got a mongoose? The bike? Yeah. I had a low rider bike. I wanted, I wanted one of those too. Every when I seen a, a, a bro, baby I boy, did, I had a low rider bike that you got. What low rider bike you have, bro? I got a low rider bike. Like, so I asked my dad for a low rider bike, baby boy style, right? Yeah. This nigga got me a low rider bike, like from his generation, like the actual crib low rider bike. <laughs> That used to bounce and shit. Like, bro, it was not baby boy, bro. That I was I was high key like, what is this? I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to find something like that. Cause he thought nah, I meant yeah, like I, a low rider bike. I wanted the baby boy bike. I I just thought that was player. I'm like, shh, I have all the I have all the girls on me. Stop it. We're we'll rolling roll around in in a, in a, in a little baby boy. Yeah. He got me some shit like this. Hold on. So when you say low rider by you, you meant like uh, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about the the baby boy. <laughs> What's his name? Jody. The Jody. Jody. The, the Jody bike. That nigga really had a bike. Was pushing. 
Let's see. I can't find it. Fuck it. <laughs> nah, but uh, let me wrap it up. <laughs> so, we got a good twenty minutes in. <laughs> you serious? I mean, shit. We got to edit a lot of that stuff. 11 oh, 11 oh, 8. oh shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been episode 18 of the Children of the Children's Podcast with your host, Anthony Finesse Hess. Xavier and the Professor Cardinal. And if you found any entertainment from this episode, all we ask is just to share it with one person. You feel me? Just one person. And the like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we out. Yeah. Yeah.